Hey guys, Capper here. It's uh, July 17th. Wow, time's flying. I'm out here early in the morning to try and beat the heat. I'm going to try and get something done on the tractors, getting them swapped over. I got my bag of goodies. Let me show you that. My bag of goodies here. I just got this spray, this mouse be gone. It's a natural, uh, smells like mint, which, uh, oh, it smells as strong. So I don't think I'm going to put it in the cab. I just sprayed the Polaris with it, kind of just like under the undercarriage areas and like under the hood here and things where they like to get. And uh, granola bar, Gatorade, and a Coke. So let's see if we can get something done. Okay, so I got the hardest one of the three on uh, for the chain compartments. It's this one. Uh, that self-tapper right there goes through both sides. And then I just took the grinder and zipped that off so I don't tear my finger off. This one is easy. It goes into the plastic, and then that one's pretty easy. Punch that right through and grind off the outside. So chain compartments won't be much longer. This slow moving emblem is coming off next. That'll be torn off in about two weeks. I like the way they got it mounted though. They just got a simple bolt under there. And then a plug, I think that plug goes back in the hole if I remember correctly. All right, so uh, first thing I did here is I changed the float position here. It's, the, it's basically a mechanical float. But these things normally come the block is kind of horizontal but when you put them turn them like that it gives you some float for your three-point implements especially in hill country so now I'm, I'm just about to take off this uh, three-point arm and I'm gonna switch it with the uh, another adjustable one that I finally got you know, I got a few months ago and never put it on the old uh, Megatron so it's going on a new one that will make things a lot easier uh, it, field adjusting like instantly okay so now this top three-point arm is coming off and the uh, hydraulic top link is going on it's starting to get warm I don't think I mentioned but we're having excessive heat advisory starting tomorrow all right I think it's time to call it in this is my second t-shirt so let the heat and humid warnings begin but Let's see what I got done on Megatron. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see what I got done on Optimus, the new tractor today. Um, so I got the shop door open with the air on. So at least I'm getting a little bit of cool air in here. I think it's gonna be 90 today and 90% humidity. Just, yeah, it's getting hot again, but I feel good about getting some progress. Okay, back to the battle of the bushings. I'm putting the eye match on. This is the new one and uh, I lost one of the bushings. It's obviously somewhere on the shop floor, okay? But I keep extra bushings all over. Every time I go into Rural King or a tractor shop when I'm in a tractor aisle, I grab bushings and I grab pins and connectors and stuff just to have on hand for times like this. Otherwise, I'm dead in the water. I can't put that on without a bushing. You see, you cannot do it. It'd be really dumb to do it because it would have all kinds of slop. So I feel pretty good about my stash, although this is my last one, so I have to restock. All right, here's another thing you want to get rid of right away. John Deere on the iMatch is using these co these cotter keys, these cotter pins. Those are kind of a joke. Um, if you ever have to change anything into a field, they're kind of a nightmare. So. This is my uh, toolbox for the tractor. So you just you just want to get a couple of uh, regular keeper pins like this. this you know, there's different sizes, but those cotter things are a real pain when you're out in the field. So just FYI. All right, more of these pins here on the Branson. I'm taking both of the ends off of the Megatron. They're the same exact ends. The only thing is I had to grind had to grind these a little more narrow to fit in the eye match and I don't feel like re-grinding them so I'm gonna just switch those ends be a lot easier 
Okay, still on these ends here. So these are the kind of locking pins you want, these round ones. I'm snagging these from Megatron and I'll put them other cotter pins back on that one. But you see how much easier life is? I'm gonna tell you that that one was a headache to get off. And now this one's gonna be a little bit of a headache. All right, now I'm taking a whole different approach. I'm getting ticked off, soaked in sweat already. So I'm trying something different. I pulled the uh, three-point arms off of the tractor. Uh, I needed to do a little bit more grinding on the inside of these little ball joints. And now I got them started. I had to pound them with a hammer to get them going, but it'll loosen up. This will stretch out just a little. Trust me, I know. Um, so I'm going to put it on the floor, get a bigger hammer, get them lined up and get them in and hopefully finish this project. But this is why I always try to get all my implements matched up to the eye match or quick attach, whatever you got, so that you only got to do this, you know, every so often. And then, and, you know, part of the problem is this is all class two stuff. It's heavier duty. But I think this is a class two now, this uh, eye match. But anyways, new approach. Okay, sledgehammer crowbar it's what I needed uh, I set it on the carpet and slowly pounded it back and forth till I get the pins lined up and part of the problem was Mrs. Capper put uh, a couple coats of fresh paint on there so it squeaked off all the paint but we're in business so now what used to be the really really hard part is getting this thing on let's see what happens Okay, this is not gonna be fun, but hopefully it goes better. It might be a lot of bleeps in this one, but we'll see. Sickle mower here. Whoa! Now we're cooking with peanut oil. Now these pins gotta go in, like so. Round keeper, hello. Grants and John Deere and whoever don't use them anymore. See how easy that is? Round keeper, gotta say that twice for the engineers who ever, ever watch tractor videos. See how easy that is? Now they should snap in. That was a zillion times easier, man. A bazillion. And it's time for this one. I gotta get a bushing quick. Wow, that was nice. That was finally. I just I spent like an, an hour, hour and a half thinking with that right now. Right. Progress. Alright, well let's see if this needs some grinding. Also or not. Pushing in, I've done that before, forgot that. Oh, look at this. Finally, something going good. Here's one of their keepers, but I'm going to put a, a, a cotter a keeper on this side. Not a cotter keeper, but a normal one, either a round one or one of those, uh, you know what I mean. If you've been watching, forget it. This is the keeper that's going in. <clears throat> like that. Until I can get some more round ones. I mean, I could jam it all the way on there if I want, but that should work. So, hydraulic lines are going in the red ones. And we're moving on. Okay, we're set, baby, for the rear. I'm running out of steam, but I still got to uh, fabricate the toolbox mount. I got to make a couple changes to that. Um, camera gear and power cords and stuff on the inside. But uh, it was really good progress if this is where I, in fact, quit. Okay, so now for the next headache. 
Whew. All right, this uh, front three in one hydraulics, two females. I know I've said it a jillion times, now it's going to be a jillion and one. Uh, tractor manufacturers, implement manufacturers do not work together. They don't. So, this other one I have here, this WR Long Ink, has one male and one female. So I gotta do some hodgepodging here, see if I have an extra fitting to make this work. All right, let's see if I'm gonna get a little lucky. I had one extra fitting. I already checked this in the, uh, both of these plugs, the female and on the other tractor. So now the trick is gonna be the threads because there's millimeters, there's American, there's all kinds of different types of threads. So in theory, I got this cracked loose. In theory, if these threads fit on this male, I'll be in business and then I'll have an extra female instead of having an extra male. Come on, baby. Oh, ho, look at that. Bonus for capper. Let's get some pipe tape and get that baby fixed. Time to make the swap. Look at that sucker there, man. That is big. got a bunch of it right here. It'll actually curl just a little more than that. There's a lot of curl on this thing. All right. Third function seems to be working. I couldn't tell if I had a leak or not. I'll clean it up and try it one more time, but I think it's just spillage. All right, got the four-in-one bucket installed, properly functioning. That's really good. Quick attach, completely finished. I got the hydraulic top link on. Just gotta mess around with a few more things inside. Uh, the toolbox on the outside and she's about ready for the field. Nice. Show you the jaw. Beautiful. All right, now the bucket level indicator right here. Uh, the four and one has a different angle than a normal bucket, so I got it on nice level concrete right where it's going to touch down and then you adjust that indicator up there all right that means you got an even bucket all it is is a couple of set screws right here so that when you lower for dirt work you're, you're golden beautiful <laughs> 